Hey y'all, welcome to Unboxing Discovery by G. My name's Gina and today I have an Express haul. Now this is the first time I've ever shopped Express and I just went online and bought a bunch of stuff. And y'all, I did one of my own fashion faux pas. I didn't check the materials on any of this stuff. So a lot of this may be going back. Y'all, I did go ahead and open them all up, get them all out of the box because it's a big box and they were all individually wrapped. So big old mess. Um, also, I did get my husband a couple of polos. Hopefully, maybe later in the week, I can get him to try these on for us. So I didn't even open them, I'm gonna let him do that. But those are his two polos, $32.95 each. I got him an espresso and a eucalyptus. So this here is the pile of stuff I got for me, y'all. I went a little cray cray. I think I spent like over $400. Uh, um, let me see what it says. This is a total of $824.40 worth of clothing. I had discounts equaling $455.48. I think that was like a half off day. So my total was $394.75. So really, I, I pretty much had to have gotten half off. Um, probably Labor Day weekend. I probably bought it Labor Day weekend sale. Because I did get several clothing. And y'all, I'm going to try to go more and do a little more clothing. I noticed I was kind of going overboard with the makeup and doing more makeup. But I know y'all love the clothing trons too. So I really need to kind of find a happy medium. Uh, y'all let me know what y'all prefer to watch also. Because, you yeah. know. I want to get what y'all want to. If there's a store you want me to get, if there's a product you want me to get, a clothing piece, whatever, I'm game. So, let me just start showing you what I got. Because uh, I can't remember, you know how I am. This is Express Extra Large. And it's a button down, but it's got a little bit of a flutter sleeve. It's, it's sleeveless. So very interesting. This, I, I was looking for stuff that was a little dressier top wise, stuff that would go with skirts, things like that. Cause a lot of stuff that I have is sleeveless or short sleeved is like tank tops, cottony, doesn't really look dressy. And I wanted something, you know, nice. This is the ruffle shoulder short sleeve shirt in extra large sherbet it was $54.95 I do not know if that's what I paid or if that was the beforehand price it is 100% polyester and it's possible that it could need a cool iron so I don't know I'll have to try it on and see how I like it on me y'all I'm normally stay hot but here lately in church I've actually been getting, getting a little chill so I may have to start wearing a jacket and so those would look great under a blazer. This is the Express Extra Large. Just look at this cute little cameo. It's got that little lace um, straps. I hope y'all can see that. I know you'll be able to see it on. Lace all the way around. Nice comfy. And this would be cute under a color blazer as well. Uh, lace trim cami extra large pitch black $32.95. That must be the original price, not actually what I paid. I will look it up and of course down below where I put all my information, I will put what I actually paid along with the original price. So if you're interested in any of these products, it will be there for you. Now, this one I noticed, I got two patterns very similar, and I almost decided not to get them both, but I thought, oh, I'll just try them on. They're, they're different tops, they're just similar patterns. This paisley look, just, I don't know, it just kind of screams boho to me. I really like it, so I thought, I'll give it a try. Uh, it has button top. All the buttons seem to work, so you can button it to wherever you want but very cute, flowy kind of top. Polyester probably, yes. 
but I just thought it was cute. This is the Paisley High Neck Button Front Tank Extra Large Multi $45.95. And I'll show you the other one since we're right here at it. Um, if I can get, which way is up? Which way is up? Okay. Here we go. See, they're similar, but it's almost like it's kind of a faded up top, or at least his own, well, maybe that was just the way I was holding it. Um, but yeah, the pattern is a lot, very similar, if not exact. But it's totally different shirt. It's, um, this one's a wrap. It's got a, um, little smock in there on the back. I'm curious to know what it's going to look like. It's got, a. Uh, the flutterly, fl fluttery all the way down. This is Paisley Wrap Front Ruffle Top Extra Large Blueprint, $49.95. I definitely would have to wear something under it. And of course, it's polyester too. It feels the exact same. All right. I don't remember this, y'all. What is it? Interesting? Um, interesting. I don't know what to say about it. It's, I mean, it's kind of cool in a way, but it's kind of mm, dated in another way. What does it say? Pleated lace cami extra large ivory $70. Um, of course, I didn't pay $70 for it. I don't know. I might to see it on. And it's feels polyester as well. Yeah. Weird. Just weird. Okay. This may be my saving grace, y'all. These are um high waisted medium wash flare jeans size twelve eighty dollars. So express denim. And look at those bottoms y'all oh my goodness you know i love them i love a high waist it's a cute wash here's the back kind of looks like it has that b there that i look for so i'm interested to try these on and see how they do with these big oh bell bottomies oh flares I'm a sucker for a flare. This is a skirt. Oh, it's a little high slip. I have to be careful about the slits. I don't like them to be high slit. This is a high waisted satin front slit midi slip skirt extra large in Sherberts $59.95. It is very slinky feeling, like polyester y. It has a zip on the side. It is polyester. Everything is polyester. I'm so ashamed of myself for not looking at that. But I just wanted to do an express haul. I've been trying to branch out and not just do the same two places every time. So that's kind of what I did during Labor Day is I just kind of shopped. Uh, this is cute. It is a button up. Look at these sleeves. They are tab sleeves. I know everybody doesn't love a tab sleeve, but I do think they're cute if you can get them rolled correctly. That's the problem. Um, it looks like it would need a little ironing, so I'm not super happy about that. It is the Solid Round Boyfriend Shirt, extra large, white, $54.95 is the original price. But it's a boyfriend shirt. Everybody has been all about the boyfriend shirts lately, so I thought I'd try one. And I did need some white tucking shirts. I just do. I don't have any. All right, this I haven't quite figured out yet either. Is this another skirt? 
Okay, it's a leopard print skirt. Also, not exactly what I thought it was gonna be. Um, oh, so polyester-y. Um, where's it at? High-waisted leopard jacquard midi slip skirt, extra large, navy blue, $59.95. Um, elastic top, teeny tiny elastic band top. Ugh. Oh, this is actually rayon and it's dry clean only. See, that tells you I did not check because I never get dry clean only stuff. Unless this looks gorgeous on me, it will probably go back. But I do dig the print. I hope it's focused. I think it's cute. It's just, mm, I don't know about it. Okay. What are you? Let's find out. This is the Satin Wrap Front, front Peplum Top Extra Large Pitch Black $60. So, okay, here's the peplum of it. Cute. I do think it's adorable. It's got a snap and a tie. Is it one snap? Yes, a snap and a tie in the front. I thought this would look super cute over a mini skirt or something, you know, a pencil skirt with a little pop of color sticking out the neck. I just thought it would be cute. So it is a long sleeve and it does have a water cup, which I am not really, you know, I don't have a history of just absolutely loving a water cup, but it is very interesting. And it kind of looks like it would be one of those you could do this with, which is probably what I would do. Cute, yes, okay. So, also feels kind of polyester -y. Let's just quick tag check. Yeah. All right. Hmm. I don't know the color of this one. Cute. Um, satin pleated shirt, extra large. It's in pecan, $60. And it does have her, she has it tied in the front, which looks cute. Um, I don't know. We'll have to see. But, I mean, is it satin or is it polyester? Because it, in the label, it says satin, and yet it's 100% polyester. I don't get it. Is that is that is there some kind of secret that I don't know that satin is really polyester? I, I don't know. I'm not a, you know, I don't know nothing about nothing. I'll tell you, I, I'll be the first to tell you I don't know nothing about nothing. I just like trying on clothes. <laughs> I like new pretty things. And I did think this is a cute detail in the front, this here pleating. So we'll try it on. We'll see, see what it looks like. All right, I, I know not everybody likes mixed media. This is a mixed media top, which I don't mind. I actually don't mind because the back, it lets me breathe enough that I'm not just, you know, it and too hot with the front just being the, the off color. But look at the cute pattern. I think this one is cute. And it's got this zipper, which gives me my little bit of grunge that I like. Um, I don't know. I'm boho and grunge. And this kind of mixes them up to me. That's just how it feels to me. But the back is cotton. The front, I'm sure, is polyester. Like everything else that seems to have come from Express. Yes, I'm right. This is cute. What does it say about this one? Paisley print tank, extra large, white print, $39.95. Very cute. I mean, I can just see this tank top with those bell-bottom jeans and that being an outfit for me. That's cute. So, yay. I at least know there's probably going to be something I like in here. This one is metallic cinched hem v-neck easy tank in marbled bronze. Now, I don't normally go metallic with my clothes, but sometimes I like to be a little fun. So, it, it does have that metallic tint to it, but it's not overpowering. I like bronze. I like to wear bronze in my eyes, so why not bronze on my top? And it does have a tie at the bottom. It looks like you can actually tighten this to your desired tightness. 
did I say $29.95? Also feels on the, yep, polyester. <sighs> polyester, polyester. Where art thou polyester? All in my house. <laughs> This is the pearl button pleated cuff v-neck top. Look at these cuffs, y'all. This is giving me a very Victorian vibe. I don't know that I love it. Um, I've never been super on the poofy when it comes to a blouse, uh, puffy sleeve, but we'll give it a try. It is a v-neck. I just don't, um, I'm not loving it just looking at it, y'all. We'll have to see. I feel like I'm harsh today, but I think I'm just bummed because I didn't pay attention to the labels. It's my own fault. It is no one to blame but me. I think I was in a mood that day, and I was just like, fine, let's get that, let's get that, let's get that, you know? I just get that way sometimes. But anyway, so that's what I got from Express. What do you think of the clothes? Would you ignore the polyester of it and, you know, give the clothes a try or would you be kind of like I am like oh it's polyester I just don't want polyester you know I'm kind of on the fence sometimes because I feel like the polyester kind of does look a little more dressy in a way I don't know if that's just some weird mindset I have in my brain or I don't know we'll find out we're gonna try it on all we're gonna see what looks good don't forget to comment below and tell me what you think I want your opinion too Please press that like button. I would love it if you give this video a thumbs up. Subscribe, share with your friends, press the notification bell. All right, I will see y'all back in a minute. All right, so this is today's outfit. I am wearing a tank top of, had forever, I don't know, probably got it from Walmart or Target or somewhere. And these jeans are Sanctuary, I believe, or Yes, these jeans are sanctuary. I will put down below where I got them from because right now I can't remember. Um, this necklace my mama got me a long time ago from a man who did stones, worked with stones, things like that. Things I got from Torrid. Y'all, I was lazy with my hair today. I just threw it up in a clip. All right, so let's try some stuff on. All right, y'all, I don't have high hopes for this haul. Y'all know this when I unboxed it. Uh, this skirt is so see-through, y'all. I was wearing black underwear today, okay? You can see my black underwear through this. You can see my black underwear through this. It feels big and bulky. And this feels thin and that slit is just not, this is not for me. So I'm gonna take the skirt off and put the jeans on and try the rest of these tops on and see if that makes a difference. But yeah, I'm not digging the skirt. Not, not so much. As always, let me know what you think below. I'll be right back. I forgot I had another skirt. And this one, I mean, it's okay. Uh, it feels a little on the big side, y'all. Let me just get this out of the way. But, I mean, I think I could pull this one off. And not be so bad. There's not so big crazy slit on it. It's, I mean, it is slick and slinky feeling but it has a little more of a shape to it that I like. Let me know what you think about this skirt. And this top, you know, this top is probably just not gonna be, yeah, it's not. <laughs> it's gonna go off now, okay? I'll see you in a second. All right, so I figured I'd throw this black cami on with this skirt, cause more than likely I would put some kind of cami on. I don't know if it'd be black or not. And then I would put some kind of jacket on over the top if I'm wearing this skirt. It's okay, but you can definitely see the white on my bra because there's little white flowers on my bra. You can see that through it. Um, if the price is right, I may keep it. If not, I will send it back. Let me know what y'all think. Going on to the next. I figured I'd go ahead and try this thing on. Um, are the straps? Okay, the straps are not adjustable. If the straps were adjustable and I could raise this up a little, I think this might not have been too horrible bad. It does feel a little big, but you know, that might be a little welcome underneath something. But let's just, 
Let me just look at something. I have this from another haul. I'm just going to put a blazer over the top. What do you think? Nah, I, I probably won't keep this thing. I'm just not happy with it. I thought it might be cute, but maybe not. And I know this isn't the dressiest blazer, but it's still soft. All right, I'll be right back. I had to throw this on real fast because Callie Cat is playing with the mouse. It's very cute. So I was gonna let y'all see it while I'm looking at this. That's my remote. Is that your mouse? Y'all, this is me. This is vintage boho me. This I like. These express jeans. Oh my goodness. I like them. They fit me at a good spot. My belly button's down here. They're up here. They fit pretty tight. Nice. I like the boot of them. Very cute. And this top is cute. It's nice and loose. Of course, I would have to do something else about a bra because that ain't gonna work. But very cute top. I do like this one. All right, let's move on. My moat. All right, different shirt, same pattern. This one, I'd have to wear something underneath it or I would have to pin it. I don't know that I like the way it hangs here in the front, but it is cute in the back. And it does have a little thing over here where you don't see your bra too bad. It's just that having to pin this right here would be the only thing. Now, if I didn't pin it, I'd be showing the bra. But I don't know. I'm not sure that I'll keep this one. This one's kind of a maybe. Let me know what you think. Because I have some cute little lace tops, white lace tops that could go under this. Or I could just pin it. If y'all don't think this looks too bulky because it is kind of bulky right there. Okay, moving on. This one's also cute and very me. I'm not sure if it's too big though. I'm, I don't know if I'd want to go down a size or not. What do y'all think? I do think it's cute though. I love the little pattern on it. It is a little see-through. I'd have to be careful what bra I wore underneath it, but cute. Let's move on. All right, I've been looking for a white button-up shirt like this. I've actually been looking since I pretty much started this channel. It was one of the things I was just looking for, a nice, soft, white shirt that I can wear under sweaters, things like that. I could even unbutton it or I could tie it. Um, this one is pretty soft. Um, I'm actually kind of liking it. So, it does have the tab sleeves which are all, not always my favorite because it's hard to roll them up and get them like that but i do appreciate the pushed up sleeve as y'all know uh so yeah i may keep this one too this one may be all right i just have to look at the uh instructions you know care instructions are very important to me but it feels nice all right let's move on also, not too bad. Do I need to raise this camera? I feel like my head's getting chopped off. Just ignore that mess over there, y'all. And my hair is falling down. This one is not too bad either. I mean, it's it's okay. I do, I am worried this would get hot. Um, not too bad though. I mean, it's the polyester. That's why I'm feeling hot because it's polyester. So I may just send this one back. I don't think I love it enough to worry about being so hot in it. <laughs> one second. All right, this one's kind of fun. It's a little funky. Um, the tie at the bottom, I kind of like that. And I actually tucked this under and let this hang. And I kind of am liking the asymmetric of it. I don't know why, because I normally don't like an asymmetric, but you could tighten it up to where it was up here or you can pull it down. It is cute. This one I may think about. What do y'all think? Is it a mistake? I don't know. I don't want to make any mistakes. It's pretty, it's pretty shiny. But it would be fun if I ever did anything, you know. <laughs> yeah, I don't like this one. It feels oversized. It feels bulky on my shoulders. It's definitely bulky on the sleeves. 
they're a little too long uh this is just not me i don't know what i was thinking <laughs> Uh, no, you know. <laughs> I like the idea behind this shirt. There's a snap here, a tie here, and there's a tie on the inside to tighten as well. But it's too bulky right here and on my shoulders. I actually like these long cuffs that you can fold back and make them look cute. But it's just, it's not, it's not there. I was trying. I was trying to make a jacket of it, trying to see what I could do with it. It just can't. I just don't think it's there. Y'all let me know if I'm making a mistake. Um, I think that was all the clothes in this haul. I will try to get heavy to try those polos on for you, but I don't know since we're at the beginning of the work week if I'm going to get it in there or not. But let's go back and do a review. All right, y'all. I am back for the review. Y'all, this box... I didn't do so good on it. I I didn't look to see if the stuff was polyester or not. I just ordered stuff. I ordered stuff that I thought I was crazy for ordering when I opened it up. I have no idea what I was thinking. I remember I was sitting in bed with my husband and I had my laptop and he was, I think he was looking at the budget and I was telling him about how I needed to do more clothing hauls. And I think I was just ordering a bunch of stuff. So crazy me, but fun to try stuff on. And I surprised myself with some of the stuff I didn't think I'd like, and I kind of did. So, let me get it pulled up here so we can look and see what the prices are. Oh, those are the two shirts my husband. I was like, what is you? What did I get in eucalyptus? Hopefully, I can get hubby to come and try those shirts on for you and show them to you. Uh, if not, there were just a couple of polos. And, um, fingers crossed that he <laughs> does it. Filming is not his favorite thing. He's never liked being in front of the camera. These express jeans, y'all, the, the flare high rise, um, $80 jeans. I paid, oh, did I pay $80 for them? But I want to keep them. Hang on. They're $80 jeans. Y'all, I really wanted to keep them, but I don't know that I can keep them $80 worth. Um, oh, should I keep them, y'all? Tell me if I should keep them. $80. I didn't remember paying that much for anything, but I forget this is the order that I spent a lot of money on. So, okay, really, really love these jeans. Don't want to send them back. If I keep them, it will be a good splurge because I think that they were lovely on me and they fit well. I wore them through another try on because it was all shirts and oh, I really like them. Um, there's the two shirts. They're just polos. I mean, I kind of tried to section it off as like a no and a maybe and a yes pile because this was a lot of clothes. So, um, this gold shirt, satin pleated shirt, it, well, it says it's in pecan, $60 shirt. Yeah, I'm not going to keep it. I just didn't, I didn't like the way it, it was on me. I mean, it's cute shirt. And, you know, I appreciated the pleatedness of it and I really wanted to like it, but I'm not, I'm not going to keep it, uh, especially, what did I say, $60 worth? This is the pearl button pleated cuff. And did I even show you the pearls on it? See, there's the pearls. This, oh, it was so bulky in spots on me. It just did not look right. The sleeves were too long and kind of heavy. Um this i just did not like it I don't, i've never liked this sleeve type thing i mean it's practically got a little shoulder pad in there to make it stand up i've never liked these too much uh 59.95 yeah this is gonna go back to the store and you know i like this pattern but i don't know i don't think i'm gonna keep this it just Especially if I keep the other one that's got the same pattern. I just didn't like the way it hung on me. It was a little too bulky. But it, I think it would have been cute. It had potential. $49.95. This one I could not make work no matter what I did. I, I, I do not know 
it looks so cute on the lady but then again she's like leaning back and she's holding you know right here so it was sixty dollars this satin wrap front peplum top uh so yeah i'm just gonna send this one back it just did not work for me i'm undecided on this skirt i think i could make it work and i appreciate the way it is cut but it did feel a little on the big side not bad i could still wear it but it's supposed to be high-waisted it did not hit me high-waisted because of the fit so i probably am going to send it back it was 59.95 if you think it was awesome and you think i should try it in a smaller size let me know i can always order it in a smaller size this guy i don't know just too weird I, it maybe too much going on if it had been one thing or the other I don't, I don't know. It just, it did not strike me. It looked so gorgeous on her, fitted and cute, but $70 pleated lace cami. It's just, it's not for me. All right, so this one, um, also I thought just looked a little too big. I appreciated the attempt at the flutter sleeve and maybe if it fit me better, it might have worked. But maybe, I don't know, maybe extra large is not the right size for me at Express. I've never shopped there, so I don't really know. Uh, you know, different brands, different sizes, but this just didn't work for me. It was ruffle shoulder short sleeve shirt, $54.95, so I'm going to return it. This skirt, also going to return high-waisted satin front slit midi slip skirt, $59.95. Just going to return it. Didn't, didn't like it at all. <laughs> Not even going to play. Didn't like it at all. So this black cami top, I wasn't in love with, I wasn't in hate with. It was just kind of an eh. So I said, we'll see how much it costs. If it's in the like five, seven dollar range, I'll keep it. If it's high, I'm not gonna keep it. So let's find it on my price sheet. $32.95 for a lace trim cami. I'm, I'm gonna send it back because really I can, I can get something like this a lot cheaper somewhere else. And I wasn't in love with it enough for $32. And now this paisley print top, I am considering. This one is $39.95. I'm tempted to keep it. I know a lot of people don't like the mixed medias, but they haven't been doing me so bad. Especially these with the zip on the front. It seems like I've been drawn to lately. I have no idea why. But I think it is cute. So I'm going to think about keeping this one. Y'all let me know. Comment below. Let me know what you think Miss Callie is sitting in the box. <laughs> I love it when they get in the box. I think it's so funny. My husband keeps saying that he's going to take some tape and tape down on the carpet a square. So it looks like a box, but all it is is tape just to see if the cats will get in it. Because he said he heard somewhere that they'll get in it. I'm like, but well, what's the point? He's like, I don't know. <laughs> just goofiness. Goofiness is the only point. All right, so this solid boy rayon boyfriend t-shirt, $54.59. Should I keep it? I'm tempted to because I didn't have any of these last year and I kept trying. I wanted, you know, I wanted one. I wanted to wear one. I wanted to wear them under my cute little bulky sweaters, things like that. I knew it'd be hot, but they're so cute like that with the collar sticking out. They make you look so preppy. And on occasion, I do like a preppy moment moment i don't know why but i do but they're so cute and they're versatile you know you could put a a band t-shirt under it and tie it and leave it open it's cute so i'm thinking about keeping this so y'all let me know what you think if uh, you think this is just it costs too much um or if you think it's a good deal so this i'm thinking about as well this Paisley high neck. Oh, I thought this was cute. You know, I love these like boho looking tops. They, I mean, I just, I love this paisley print. I have been just very drawn to this lately. I don't know why. It was cute, but was it $45.95 cute, y'all? Um, I'm, I'm, I'm torn because I kind of like it and I kind of don't want to pay that much for it. Especially since it has, what is it, 
Uh, is it polyester? I think it's polyester. It is polyester. I don't know. I'm, this is a maybe. I'm, I'm thinking about it. I need y'all's help. And surprisingly, because I never thought when I pulled this out that this would even be a maybe, but this metallic crunched hem v-neck easy tank, an extra large marble bronze, I'm thinking about keeping. And it's $29.95. It just looked cute on. I think, I mean, I think I would like this just to have that little bit of a blink. You know I like a little bit of blink. I mean, I put glitter and stuff on. So yeah, I'm thinking about keeping this one as well. So that narrowed it down at least, but I really need y'all's help. Please comment below and tell me what you think I should keep, what you think I should send back. While you're down there, I would love it if you give this video a thumbs up, subscribe if you have not already, share with your friends, and press that notification bell. Y'all, thank you so much for spending time with me. Y'all have a wonderful day, and God bless.